Coach, you guys uh, get to come into the Classic this year and uh, you get the finale against the hometown Highland Hawks. Uh, you know, what, what are you expecting for that game atmosphere-wise and, and uh, just kind of game stuff for you? What is your team looking for tonight? I mean, obviously, uh, it's going to be exciting to play Highland because they're going to bring not only the Classic in a country uh, crowd, but also their own home crowd. And so uh, we've come a few years just to watch as well as the couple years that we've been here to play. And it's always exciting when Highland's playing. they got a good student section and um, the atmosphere is, I mean, obviously, they support girls basketball here at, in Berlin. So, you know, we're looking forward to that. And plus, they have a really good team. So it'll be a good matchup. You guys have been here three times now and uh, you've your first time you beat another hometown team, West Holmes, uh, and then you had a, a really big game last year against Hoban, blew a lead and lost in overtime. Uh, you know, what has what has the experience has been like for you guys uh, over the past couple of years for, at the Classic? Uh, one is just, just the atmosphere of coming up here to a little bit different culture than we are from. I mean, we're pretty rural school ourselves, but to come up here and experience, like we always make an event of it. We've been here since Saturday stay in the hotel, get to go eat at the Amish restaurants. And, you know, we just enjoy the experiment, experience, first of all, and then a little time for team bonding too. The girls around each other all weekend. So not, I think it's not only great for basketball because there's great teams here, but it's also just good to, for our team building. And uh, I, I think it's, you know, something that I wouldn't want to do anything else over the course of this weekend. You guys got here Saturday. So you, you spent most of the weekend here. You had an off day yesterday. Uh, you don't play till later today, so you spent the better part of 48 hours here. Uh, where have you guys chosen to eat? Where, what, have, what have been your picks? Uh, well, the first day we went to Mrs. Yoder's uh, kitchen because right by a hotel, and that had a delicious buffet. Mm -hmm. I think I had like four full plates there. <laughs> and then we uh, we went to, well, yesterday the parents were all here too, so they kind of took their kids different places, but uh, Bags was a sports place that was open. I know that ate there. and. Um, you know, so those those were two of the restaurants we ate at. And I know the parents have, have been around. They got some pizza yesterday. We've hung out at the hotel um, in the lobby and stuff. So that's that's kind of been the places they've gone the majority. But yesterday, a really cool place was we went to Schleyball's house. And he has a gym there that's, that's just unreal. So we really, the kids enjoyed that. And I thought it was, I thought it was awesome too. Mm -hmm. Now you have a really solid senior class uh, that you spent four years with. Uh, Bailey Beckstead and uh, Faith Stenson. And I'm sure there's others. Yeah. Uh, what has that class meant to you? you? You've been able to see them through, and they've probably done a lot of uh, special things for your program. Uh, they've had a way winning record all four years. Like, what has that class meant to you as a, as a coach? Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, Faith and Bailey, they played tremendous roles on our, you know, team that made the Final Four their freshman year. They were big-time players that year. But, you know, we have a few other players that really, you know, thrive in their roles as well. We have a couple shooters. We have a just a gritty player goes and rebounds and plays defense. So that senior class, you know, they get along well. They 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 help with the younger kids. Like I think there's pretty good team camaraderie on our team. And you know that that thrives from the, the senior leadership. If if you don't have good seniors on your team, it's not gonna be a it's not gonna be a very fun season. So even even if they're not the best players in the world all the time, you need to have good leadership. And so I think I think the girls having both obviously the talent and you know the the attitude. That's that's a big thing because if you don't have your seniors and your leaders willing to work, then the underclassmen aren't going to want to do it. But I think they have. I think they've meant a bunch to our program. Obviously, over the last four years, I I don't know how many wins we have, but it's got to be it's got to be over a hundred. I mean, over eighty at least, over twenty a year. So now you guys obviously have had uh, several deep playoff runs, uh, as you mentioned when those when that class was a freshman. You guys got to the state final four. Uh, you know, what What have you guys done since last year to kind of take that next step, get back to uh, the state final four with this, you know, big class that, that you got one more you run with? Yeah, I mean, this is this is something last year we lost in the regional finals to Benton County, who ended up making a state final game. But, uh, you know, they exposed some things that we got to be more physical. They we got to be able to, to score the ball when uh, they're doubling faith and face guard and Jameson like those are things we've tried to work on offensively like add some stuff that we can do to to combat what teams try to take away you know Jameson and Faith are the two that they really try to take away um, I know Bailey's kind of our floor general but teams team to seem to face guard Jameson and uh, double team Faith and so we tried to try to get us in different scoring positions and so really that's kind of the one thing we've really worked on the most this year I think is uh, what can we do offensively to combat what other teams do to us? And so that's we, it's still a work in progress. Tri Valley kind of took it away from us earlier in the season, mm -hmm. 
so we've still got to make adjustments. But uh, you know, that's that's kind of been our big focus over the from last season to this season. Specifically tonight with Highland, uh, I'm sure you've watched the film, and, and it's a team that you're pretty familiar with. I'm, I'm sure you were here Saturday night to watch them play. Uh, what, as far as uh, strategy-wise, what are you looking for to try to take away from Highland tonight? Honestly, I think our two teams match up really well. You know, the Miller and Faith are both going to Akron, and they play similar positions, so I'm sure they'll see a lot of each other. Their point guard, Mullet, is is unbelievable shooter and quick, and, you know, that'll be a great matchup with Beckstead. And then you got somebody like Troyer, and she'll be probably on Jameson. And so, yeah, I think our team matched up really well. Uh, obviously, can't let Mullet get open looks, so we're going to do whatever we can to, to prevent that. And um, It'll be interesting to see where Miller plays more inside or outside versus Faith. But uh, I, I think I think our matchups, we, we both tend to play man-to-man, -man, so it'll be – Interesting to see if they uh, they kind of pressure us. We really got to handle that because they do pressure the ball really well. So that's one of our big concerns is making sure we handle their pressure and execute even when they're just in the half court pressuring us. So I think that's kind of the key to the game is handling the pressure and making sure we rebound because they're really fundamental boxing out and you know they're not going to give up many second chance points. So limiting open looks to maul it and then just being more physical and handling their pressure. I think those are the keys. Broad question here before we let you go. You've been here all weekend. You've watched a lot of basketball. I've seen you here every day. Uh, you've been here all day today. Uh, what are some What are some What are some things that jump out to you? Whether it's teams, players, anything. Well, honestly, we scrimmaged this team early in the year. I think Reynoldsburg is really good. I mean, we saw them yesterday get the running clock in a classic country. You don't see that very often. I mean, they're they're very talented and they're super athletic. Um, I don't know. It's just been a lot of good basketball. We've seen so many overtime games. And so, I mean, Tri-Valley's game just reaffirmed to me how gritty they are, getting down seven points in overtime and coming back and winning with their best player fouled out. Like, I mean, that just shows, you know, kind of what we're dealing with in our league there. So I, I really, you know, like that game. But that stood out as well as the, uh, the Reynoldsburg team. Well, Coach, I appreciate your time. Good luck tonight and uh, good luck the rest of the season. All right, thank you.